Are these the healthiest coffee beans for biohacking? I found out about Purity Coffee a couple of months ago and even Ben Greenfield, you know, the famous biohacker, is selling Purity Coffee under his own brand as a white label. So I thought, you know, I want to give it a try. Uh, Purity claims they're like really the healthiest coffee beans in the world, so best suitable for biohacking coffee. And yeah, unfortunately you, you cannot order them to Europe. But yeah, luckily I went to Austin, Texas a couple of weeks ago and ordered two bags of these to my Airbnb. And yeah, now came back to Switzerland with these and uh, tried it out for the past two weeks. What makes Purity Coffee supposedly so special and why should it be so great for biohacking? Well, the number one reason is that they claim they are the healthiest coffee and also not just the healthiest, but also they taste very well. So Purity Coffee is an organic coffee and they are a specialty grade, which means they are close to zero defects in the coffee beans. What I found very interesting is that Purity took two years, took um, 100 different coffees from 46 different coffee brands and tested them. This includes 44 coffees in what they call the performance health market, which means coffees that claim to be yeah, healthy, like bulletproof coffee. Purity sends samples of the coffee to three labs in the US, in Portugal and Brazil. And the labs tested the coffee for the roast level in Actron, the acidity or the pH level, the amount of caffeine and cupping scores. The labs also tested all the coffees for the bad stuff, the things that you don't want in your coffee, like mold, yeast, mycotoxins like ocrotoxin A, OTA, and other toxins, lead, cadmium, copper, aquilamide, and 310 different pesticides that can be found in coffee. And they also tested it for the good stuff. Chlorogenic acids, CGA, and trigo, trigonaline, trigonaline, and trigonaline, which has been linked to antioxidant activity. So these are the detailed lab results by Purity, comparing 55 brands. And yeah, when a brand has more than one coffee, as far as I understand it, they averaged the scores in each row. So the first column is Actrum, which is like a scale for a roast level. How dark are the beans roasted? Um, then the acidity. So Purity says they aim for 4.95 to 5.05. Um, they hit 4.99 in their sample. Mold and yeast is below 10. Um, they really claim they, they have zero mold in their coffees. But having below 10 and mold and yeast is actually <clears throat> not that exceptional. So you see it with most coffees actually here in the table. So these are the bad things. Also like ocrotoxin and acrylamide, you also don't want those in your coffee. Um, so purity has below 0.2, which also other coffee brands have too, but you see that actually a lot of coffees have higher numbers in ocrotoxin. Acrylamide is also something you don't want to drink a lot from. Purity coffee is here below a score of 200. Um, you see the second best coffee uh, ranked by, by the cupping score, by the taste has actually close to 700. Um, there's a wide range. There's actually one that has slightly lower, 160 only. But yeah, some of them have like even more than 1000 score in acrylamide. So now coming to the good things, the CGAs and the tri, tri Joe <laughs> and the tri Joe things. Um, Purity here is if you combine both scores, they are, they are the highest. Some coffees, there's like one coffee here that has even a higher CGA, but then a, a lower tri -Joe. So, <laughs> yeah, combine that with the taste, the cupping score of 85. That's how, of course, you know, they rank themselves as number one. Who wouldn't do it on their own website? Um, but overall, yeah, you see the scores, there's like, less bad stuff in and a lot of the good stuff. And they also rank high in the cupping score, 
yeah, which claims to be like a more objective um, taste rating. So, but how does beauty coffee taste to me? Let's make one and then find out. And let's start with the smell and the beans actually. And the smell is, yeah, pretty, pretty amazing. It smells like, like light chocolate. It's, uh, I would say medium, medium-ish roast. It smells very light, not burnt at all that you often have with other coffee beans. Yeah, very pleasant smell like chocolate, cacao, I would say. What I really like about Purity as well is that they have a brewing guide on their website for all sorts of different methods you can use to make a cup of coffee. And yeah, I did my classic French press recipe, um, four minutes one with nine grams of coffee. I also asked the customer service of Purity some in-depth questions about brewing and uh, what they consider to be the most healthiest method um, which is super interesting because the customer support is very fast in responding and they're very knowledgeable about coffee which i really like and they told me basically that all the methods where you use a, a metal filter really help to get most of the good stuff out of the coffee and yeah bring it into your cup Yeah, so the smell, it's really hard to describe, but it, it smells very good. First thing that I noticed about the taste is that really the, the acidity seems to be like very well balanced. Like <clears throat> what they write about the pH value of around five, they try, and try to aim for it. Tastes really not sour at all and tastes very soft, very gentle. It tastes clean. Um, how to describe how it tastes yeah to me it tastes great it's really it's really great coffee so one last thing that i really love about purity that i think it's pretty dope um, is actually the the freshness of the roast so oftentimes you go in a shop and you see the roast date or the best buy date which is often 12 months after the roast date and yeah oftentimes you see that the beans are roasted three or even six months earlier before you even get your hands on them, which means they are not that fresh anymore. I got Purity Coffee and I ordered them on March 26th and it says Best Buy uh, January 20, 2020. So my thought was, okay, probably they roasted it on yeah, January 20, 2019. So it would mean they were like nine weeks ago roasted. But I contacted them and asked them, how do I know the exact roasting date of your coffee? And they say it's exactly 10 months before the best buy date, which means these beans were actually roasted on March 20, 2019. So I ordered them on March 26. So you know you can get beans that it were just roasted one week ago and I think that's pretty amazing and pretty fresh. So is this the best coffee for biohacking? I don't know, I think it tastes pretty damn good and as far as the lab test results tell they are pretty healthy. Pretty high in the good stuff, pretty low in the bad stuff. So I'll just recommend try it out for yourself and see yeah, what impact it has on your body, on your mind. And I'll see you in my next biohacking video. Thanks so much for checking this video out. Trigonolane. 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 Trigonolane.